Studies show that criminals get low level of education. Some people believe that the best way to reduce the crime is educating people in prison so they can get a job after leaving prison. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Sample 1. As societal intolerance toward transgressions grows, there's a pressing demand to reduce crime rates. Many advocate for prisoner education as a pivotal factor in decriminalization, opening doors to post-release employment. I wholeheartedly support this stance and will elucidate several arguments to bolster my perspective. To begin, educational programs offer offenders crucial skills, fostering a smoother reintegration into society. When criminals grasp their wrongdoing and contribute positively after release, the stigma of their incarceration diminishes. Consider robbers or hijackers trained in professions like plumbing or construction. Their law-abiding contributions in the workforce can enhance community welfare and alleviate social prejudices. Education thus nurtures societal acceptance of former offenders and cultivates a promising future for them. Moreover, providing avenues for a new societal role and improved living conditions can deter recidivism. The more positive prospects available to offenders, the less likely they'll revert to a life of crime. Take individuals who refrain from wrongdoing because they're unwilling to forfeit stable income from a newfound job or disrupt newly formed family relationships. Yet, those lacking guidance and education remain susceptible to relapse into criminal behaviour. In conclusion, education within correctional facilities serves as an anti-crime measure aiding in the successful rehabilitation of offenders. It incentivizes them to pursue honest avenues for personal and professional growth, reducing the likelihood of subsequent criminal convictions. Sample 2. In recent years, there has been a significant increase in crime rates globally. Research suggests that many individuals incarcerated have limited education. Some suggest that educating these inmates during their time in prison could lead to better job prospects upon release, thereby reducing the likelihood of them committing further crimes. However, I don't entirely support this idea. Let's delve into the reasons behind my stance. Firstly, one major concern is the uncertainty surrounding job opportunities for ex-convicts. Even if these individuals receive education and training while in prison, there's no guarantee they'll secure employment once they're out. Many employers are hesitant to hire former inmates due to concerns about safety and potential risks to their businesses. If released prisoners struggle to find jobs, they might feel frustrated or discouraged, increasing the chances of them reverting to criminal activities. Secondly, teaching inmates within a prison setting can be quite challenging. Some of these individuals may not be receptive to learning or may exhibit disruptive or disrespectful behavior towards their educators. This could create a difficult environment for both teachers and inmates, hindering the educational process. However, it's essential to recognize the potential benefits of education in prisons. Teaching inmates about right and wrong, providing them with skills, and stimulating their minds can have positive effects on their mental well-being during their incarceration. It could also contribute to their understanding of societal norms and aid in their rehabilitation. In conclusion, while educating inmates in prison has its merits, there are significant uncertainties regarding job prospects, post-release and challenges in teaching within the prison environment. Yet, the potential positive impact on the mental health and reintegration of inmates shouldn't be overlooked. Balancing these factors is crucial when considering the effectiveness of education as a crime reduction strategy within correctional facilities. Sample 3 Some people think that if someone doesn't get a good education, they might end up doing wrong things. They believe that teaching people in prison can stop them from doing crimes again after they get out. But I don't quite agree with this idea. Here's why. 
One reason people think education can stop crime is because having a good education can lead to better jobs. But sometimes things don't work out that way. Let's imagine someone like John. He was in prison and learned a lot there, even got a certificate in computer programming. But when he tried to find a job after leaving prison, people still saw him as someone who caused trouble in the past. So just having an education might not change how people see those who have been in trouble before, making it tough for them to fit back into normal life. Also, while education can help with some problems, it can't fix everything. Studies show that people do bad things for many reasons, like not having enough money, growing up in a tough family, or having personal problems. For example, a study found that many people who go back to doing crimes after jail struggle with drugs or their emotions. So, just teaching them might not be enough to stop them from doing crimes again. We need to think about all the other things that might be causing their problems. To sum it up, while teaching people in prison might seem like a good idea, it might not be the only answer. Education can give opportunities, but it might not guarantee success for those who've had troubles before. That's why I think just teaching might not be very helpful, because crime has lots of reasons, like money problems, family issues and feelings, not just education. Sample 4 Some people believe that many criminals don't have good reading or writing skills. They think that by teaching these individuals while they're in prison, it could increase their chances of finding jobs once they're released. I fully support this notion, and I'll explain why it's so beneficial. Firstly, a lack of education often leads to people committing crimes because they don't have the skills to earn money for their families. Teaching prisoners while they're in jail can be a way to address this issue. It not only imparts valuable skills, but also keeps them occupied so they spend less time with other criminals. This might reduce negative thoughts and behaviors. For instance, in Delhi, India, the high crime rates are largely linked to a lack of education and job opportunities. However, the recent initiative by the Delhi government to provide basic skills training for prisoners could potentially lower crime rates in the future. Furthermore, these educational programs in prisons can play a significant role in managing prisoners' emotions and anger. Moreover, upon their release, having learned new skills might enable them to earn some money to support their families. This incentive could motivate them to strive for better opportunities and improve their lives. In conclusion, education holds immense importance. I firmly believe that offering educational opportunities to prisoners can be transformative. It not only improves their chances for a better life, but also holds the potential to decrease crime rates by equipping individuals with skills for a more positive future.